Okay. All right. Welcome. Hey, thank you for joining this photo reading session. In this session, we'll be post viewing algebra the easy way. So hopefully you've already prepared, previewed, and photo read this book once. Now, to post view, get a little bit of paper, and get a pen. So we're going to be jotting down some questions and some trigger words that we have uh, from the author. Now, of course, with this math book, we do know how it's laid out. So what we're going to do to post view uh, is pick one chapter of this book. We're going to photo read it, and then we're going to get to the post view questions. We're going to get those questions so that we can incubate and activate, activate later. So if you're trying to get all the information out of a math book like this, take your time and post view this book and photo read this book as many times through as you like, because how you activate, you may need it one week for one section, another week for another section. So really dive into how you need to focus on this book. Okay. So since we're going to focus on just one section, I figure, let's see. Why don't we just start with chapter two? Pretty simple. Equations, just like that, okay? If we have to, we'll jump into chapter three. So we're going to get into prepared state. Set your hands on your knees. Get in a comfortable position in your chair. Take a deep breath out. Good, now focus your mind. Imagine the number three clear and relax your body. Imagine the number two and relax your mind. Now imagine you're holding an orange in your palm. Place this orange on the back top part of your skull and let it hover about three inches above that point and set the purpose of why you're getting into this book. So I know my purpose today for Algebra the Easy Way is to understand equations in algebra a little more. Cool. So let's photo read. Get your little prop stand out. We can hop to chapter two. Of course, whatever chapter you are in your book, Move to that chapter now, and it's as simple as this. Equations. I love this. It has a little comics. Focus your gaze, your photo focus state. You can use the blip page as well. And you're going to simply skip one page at a time. Breathe. Relax. And that was it. Excellent. So a lot of this book is definitely stories. It looks like it's got golden rules of equations, postulates of equality. So here's a simple question, you know, two easy questions, and they can be as easy or as profound and advanced as you'd like them to be. Here's a simple one, and I can come right back to this little box that it's in. What is the golden rule? Yeah, very easy question. Or you can trigger word golden rule, just like that. Postulates of equality. What does postulate mean? What does postulate mean? And I know there's a glossary in this book, so that's a great place to learn that. What does postulate mean? And see, you're forming your own questions so that you can get a better understanding from your own brain. All right, so postulates of a question of equality. Now, equality equations are the in are part of the same word, so maybe that has something to do with it. A lot of this is storytelling. So here's an example. It's actually a big story. Calm down, the king said. You must know how many books there were to begin with. 
I'm supposed to have 62 books, record is said, and then so on and so forth. This is how they create the equations. That's a beautiful way. As uh, algebra is in a real life setting just like this, yeah. What has happened to the books? <laughs> so writing out an equation is done through a story. And is a story the best way to make an algebraic equation? Equation is a story the best way to form an algebraic I didn't spell that right. I need to do some spelling classes. Algebraic equation? <laughs> so that's a good question. I, I don't, maybe it is actually. That's a fun way to recognize it. Implied multiplication rule. Aha. Implied multiplication rule. That's something I want to know more. And you might not already know some some of this stuff, and if that if that's true, that's excellent. It's like there's workshop. Oh, that's for the that's the answer key to the story. You're just popping through, seeing if there's anything that catches your eye, something italicized, something bold. <laughs> okay, just like that. Maybe there is an actual uh, equation that you would like to answer. So, hmm, this is a very interesting book. I like how it's laid out. This is something you want to go through little step by step, just like a, a math book should be. Right on. Very cool how it lays out each step in a story form. Well, that's pretty simple. Okay, so I got a few questions. Uh, very simple getting into the chapter two. Obviously, maybe we should uh, expand that a little bit and jump into one more chapter to get some questions from. So let's see, table of contents. Here, let's focus on graphs. Maybe we can find some more, uh, some more fun uh, questions about Hmm. Graphs. Hmm. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, we'll jump into graphs. Why not? So are we done? Chapter two, we got some uh, questions and some ideas. Uh, yeah, algebra might be easier than you think. But as you get deeper into algebra, it could get a little more difficult. So maybe we can unlock that as well. Chapter 9 and graphs. Now, of course, whatever book you're working on is good for you. We're just doing the post view and uh, photo reading post view step right now. We're not activating quite yet, but why not? Let's photo read another section and see if we can get some more questions and, and trigger words and, and stuff from graphs. So, of course, you can do this whole book. You can do, you can skip around just like I'm doing. Here, graphs. Real quick, photo focus state. You're in your prepared state still. And just flip one page per second to relax your eyes. I can think of one question already. Hmm. Okay, so that's graphs. So the first question on graphs 
Let's see equations. Graphs. Uh, is what are graphs used for? Or uh, what is the significance uh, of using a graph? Okay, uh, let's just try to find some trigger words or some something. Of course, it goes into this storytelling. We could be facing a dangerous criminal who will stop at nothing, Recordus said. How will we catch him when we do find him? <laughs> hmm. As their corner of the woods, they try to, they use a graph to find locations. Huh. So you can use a graph uh, to find locations. Coordinates. What are coordinates? Coordinates. So I'm already answering some that question. So uh, there's, it seems like multiple uses. Uh, an ordered pair. Ordered pair. Looks like there's axes. How many can there be? Oops, there be. <laughs> um, coordinates. Okay, I want to ask, ask that. Ah, right. Pythagorean theorem. If you ever heard of that, then you might already know. Or we can always jot it down. And we can find out later if you do not know it already. <laughs> Be it decreed. Hmm. Axis. E, not an I. That's no. Nice to know. For the uh, uh, axes. Huh. Did you know that there's a plural to axes, which is axis? Hmm. Nice. That's good to know. Doesn't answer the question, but we're not trying to answer it quite yet. Just trying to form those questions. And maybe you want to just try out the equation that's laid out in the book. Uh, linear function. What does... Uh, Function have to do with a uh, graph? Slopes. Good to know. And of course, doing some of the, all well, of doing the equations will help seeing them. Oh, there's equations for lines. So those could be helpful to practice equation for lines, to practice uh, slopes. It looks like graphs can utilize curves. Hmm. 
Hmm. Curved graph to use to bore. Let's see, uh, what's a curved graph used for? So you can see how this can really get into some deep territory when it comes to asking questions in math books. And have fun taking the time to uh, open up your book and dive in into a little bit deeper than I have here. Uh, this is just a way for you to get open to it. And there's this part about more about functions. So uh, what what's a function to do with a graph? That's a place I want to get into, see, read, and take a moment with uh, for sure to answer that question. And what's beautiful about this is it looks like graphs have to do with statistics, uh, mostly. So, boom. <laughs> and then you can ask yourself, hey, what are what's statistics? So, I'm going to close this book for now. Now, I know this is only two chapters of, uh, of algebra, the easy way, and just some questions, some trigger words, uh, some things that just popped up into my eyes. Uh, you're going to always see it differently, so please approach this in your, your, your work. You know, if you want to get through every chapter, every, all of the 19 chapters, 16 chapters of this book, uh, go ahead, get into as much depth of this as you want, because the more you work in this way, the more you'll find the nitty gritty fundamentals, and then you can start expanding on improving all of the, uh, the applications of this, these, uh, all these words, really, uh, as math is first a set of words, then shows up in numbers, then shows up in uh, everyday life. Very cool. So hopefully this has helped you a little bit in understanding the post view and photo reading step uh, with a math book. And I hope to see you in the next video uh, where we activate this book. Uh, give, give it about 24 hours of time or more to incubate this information. If you feel more freely about your photo reading, it could take just a few hours. But if you need to pick up your photo reading whole mind course, you can do that through me today in the description below. Well, I appreciate you. Enjoy your reading and have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.